Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Kasabian frontman Sergio Pizzorno became the latest star to join BB's Bedtime Stories in a Glastonbury Festival special on Monday. The singer, 43, performed on the Woodsy stage at the legendary festival over the weekend with bandmates Chris Edwards, Ian Matthews, and Tim Carter. Sergio swapped his festival attire for a pair of yellow and black striped pajamas as he read Lucy Rowland's Unicorns Don't Love Sparkles from a backstage balcony at Worthy Farm. The story follows a unicorn that likes a lot to things but the problem is that the things he likes aren't exactly the same as everyone else. Sparkles? He hates them. In a clip opening the book, he said, I'm Sergio, tell me some of your favorite things. Mine are singing, dancing in the sunshine and making new friends. I'm in the perfect place for all that at Glastonbury Festival. Another of my favorite things is a good bedtime story and this one is on fire. Lucy Rowland's Unicorns Don't Love Sparkles which is illustrated by Mike Byrne. Sergio's BB's Bedtime Story is now available on BBC iPlayer. Kasabian made their Glastonbury debut in 2005 and headlined the festival in 2014. They are known for songs Fire and Club Foot. The band confirmed they were one of the surprise acts at the festival on Saturday, sparking delight from their fans. The band took to their Instagram page to share a photo of an A-board on a patch of grass featuring the words, Woodsy's Newsflash It's Happening. 18.00 Saturday. The band, formed in Leicester in 1997, wrote in the post's caption, It's Happening. See you 6 p.m. at Woodsy's at Glastafest. BB's bedtime story has seen a host of big stars take on the role in the hopes of getting the nation reading. Here Mail Online takes a look back at the hottest A-listers in Hollywood who have cozied up with their teddies much to the delight of little ones, but mainly their parents. James Norton was the last star to take on BB's bedtime story role, teaching children about diabetes through reading. The Happy Valley star, 38, who was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes age 22, aimed to help young children understand how diabetes and how it can be managed. James appeared on screens in June when he read Dr. Rose Stewart's How to Manage a Mammoth to help families explore what it's like living with the condition. One way the actor tried to teach children how to accept and manage diabetes was by cuddling a teddy bear with a continuous glucose monitor on it. James said, My diabetes animal is a big shaggy dog called Bruce. When I first got Bruce, he was a puppy. He was difficult to control because he was always overexcited. Now, he's a bit older and calmer. He still gets scared when someone's at the door or he's hungry. And then he barks very loudly. Or when he gets excited, he still runs around and knocks things over. But generally he strolls along by my side. Bruce is my pal. I'm pleased to say that today Bruce is under control and very calm, which makes me feel very happy and relaxed. Last month, Zayn Malik became the second member of One Direction to join the show. Kate Winslet led a huge lineup appearing of stars who appeared on the show in the run-up to Christmas in 2022. The Titanic actress has received numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, a Grammy Award, two Primetime Emmy Awards, five BAFTA Awards and five Golden Globe Awards. However she still jumped at the chance to appear on Bedtime Stories. She read Grumpy Corn by Sarah McIntyre, telling the story of a unicorn who wants to write the most fabulous story in the world, but is stuck for ideas. Tom Hardy sent Mums Wild as he appeared once again on BB's Bedtime Stories last month. The Hollywood star has made multiple appearances on the children's broadcaster over the years and caused quite a stir when he made his debut back in 2016. And Tom returned to screens to read I Am A Tiger by Carl Newson with illustrations by Ross Collins. The Venom actor seemed in good spirits as he cut a casual figure in a white t-shirt and brown baseball cap as he sat outside with his beloved French Bulldog Blue. He introduced himself, hello I'm Tom, well at least I think I'm Tom. Oh yes these are definitely Tom's arms and legs so I must be Tom. I'm here to read you a bedtime story about a little mouse who might not be a little mouse after all. It's called I Am A Tiger by Carl Newson Witt. 